This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Deborah Collins says she received a gift basket of hair products and assumed they were from her boyfriend. She says her now ex-boyfriend's wife spiked the products with hair remover, which caused her hair to fall out. She's suing for $5,000. Brenda Davidson says the plaintiff is a tramp who tried to steal her husband. She says she didn't send the products, but says the plaintiff got what she deserved. All rise, remain standing and come to order. The Honorable Judge Kevin Ross presiding. All parties have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Deputy Thomas. All right, Deborah Collins, I understand you are suing Brenda Davidson for hair damage as well as intentional infliction of emotional distress for a total of $5,000. Is that correct? Yes. All right, let's start with your hair, ma'am. What happened to it? This woman right here sent me a hair care package, that beauty spa package. I had hair removal in it, and she sent it to me, and I used it, and I had my hair falling out from it. I had to go to a dermatologist to figure out what, what was going on, and then she told me that it was a hair removal in the products, and it was like some kind of bad joke. So I have the, I have the uh, bill here. All right, I'll take a look at that in a moment. Ms. Davidson, did you send Ms. Collins? I don't know what she's speaking about. You um, know what you're speaking about. Let me hear from her now. Do you know Ms. Collins? You know, uh, <clears throat> she looks like um, a slut that I've seen on the street. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I am not a slut. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You serious? That's on call for in the courtroom. Excuse me. Let's, let's show a little bit more uh, respect here, all right? All I ask you is, do you know her? Uh, Why are you looking at the gentleman here? Are you Well, Mr. because this is... This This is my husband. All right. And, and, and you are, sir? My name? my name is Nicholas Davidson. Mr. Davidson, do you know Ms. Collins? Yes, we work together. You work together? Yes. And what was the relationship that you had with Ms. Collins? We were dating. She was a co-worker. And were you dating her, sir? I don't know if you could call what we were doing dating, but we... You were my we, boyfriend. We got involved. All right. So you got involved with Ms. Collins. What happened... <laughs> approximately three months ago. We're laying in bed together, watching TV as we normally right. do. Don't interrupt. And, and, the phone, and the phone rang. And it was, it was my job. The phone rang, and he didn't answer it. He turned it off. And I said, uh, honey, well, why aren't you going to answer the call? And he said, um, well, well, my I name, say my like, name kind of thing, huh? You know. Right. So I didn't say anything, Your Honor. I didn't say anything to him until... Six weeks later, I got my hands on the phone bill. And you know what I found? Tell me. Your Honor, I found over, over 4,000 texts, phone calls, 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, all the phone sex, everything. What were you doing? That was not at 4 o'clock in the morning. Ms. Collins? We actually... Ms. Collins, why are you talking you to, to Mr. Davidson? You need to tell her to be quiet. No, I need to you tell you a little bit. I'm just to really upset. Down. Okay. That's fine. So, Mr. Davidson, you've got two ladies that are very passionate about you. <laughs> I don't know if you're worth it, sir, but the question is, it's not. how do we find ourselves in a situation where there's a basket of products sent to Ms. Collins? Did you send those items, sir? No, no, I didn't. I'm, I was at work. I got a call from, from Deborah, and she said that she had a problem with her hair. She was taking a shower, and she had issues, her hair started falling out, and that she had gotten a gift basket. I, I didn't know what she I thought was, it was talking about. And, and Yeah, she thought it was for me, and I told her I didn't send her anything. All right. Now, why would you think it was from Mr. Davidson? Because he was the one who I was seeing at the time. And well, well, what was it about the gift basket that made you think Because it, it said, you're only one and only. So I thought it was from him that he sent it to me, and I went to confront him if it was And him. the basket came to you at your place of employment? At right? place of employment. And I thought it was from him since we worked at the same place. And when you said to him, Mr. Davidson, did you send me this, what was his response? He didn't know anything about it. No, I didn't. I didn't know anything about it. I'm thinking, you know, it could be somebody else you're seeing. And when, I wasn't seeing anybody at the time. Like I said, she was good. But I need to... She's mad. I'm sorry. I'm just keep 
Jesus, you keep calling me a slut, you might as well call yourself a wench. Who's that? Back with the case of Deborah Collins, who is suing her ex-boyfriend's wife, Brenda Davidson, for spiking her conditioner with hair removal cream. Let me make sure I'm following the story. Someone sent you a product with hair removal. Yes. In the shampoo and the other products. Yes. Hair falls out. Yes. What proof do you have that it was Mrs. Davidson? The proof that I have is when she actually came in the one time that she did come in to the hotel over where I work, she made a snide comment to me. What did she say to you? She said, don't mess what you get. You don't mess with other married women's husbands. That, that, that sentence doesn't make sense. Someone just walks up to you and says, that's what you get. How would you know the context of what she was saying? Because it's on how she said it. That's the only proof that you have? Yes. That's problematic. Uh, let me take a look at your evidence with respect to your medical bills. Your Honor, I have something to say. May uh, I say something now? You when know, or... I don't ask you a question, you're winning your case. You still want to say something? I went to my dermatologist, and that's all I had that bill there for. And they told me that it was a hair removal in the shampoo. I had it checked when I went to my appointment. Okay. So what I have is circumstantial evidence that it could have been Mrs. Davidson, but I don't have any concrete information that would establish that Miss Davidson did this. Miss Davidson? Yes. Yeah. You are under oath. Yes, I am. I want you to look at me. Did you send that package? Ms. Collins? I did not send that package to Ms. Collins. You know you are denying Ms. it. Ms. Collins, I'm pretty good at doing my job. Why don't you let me do it? Sorry, Your Honor. Thank you. All right, so if I have someone that says I did not commit this offense and you don't have anything other than a product that was sent to you, I don't have any fingerprints, did you, did you try to